This video is a bit of a two for one today. We'll be talking about both gas masks and brimstone rather than making two videos because they go fairly hand in hand most of the time, but it's both decent knowledge to know independently and you don't need to know either one of them to do either either of these things. But for the sake of making things easier for y'all to comprehend and for me to make content, I thought I'd add them into one video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Millie Bat. I play a lot of survival games, Conan Exiles being one of my favorites, and we're here today learning about gas masks and brimstone, like I said. Let's get to it. These creepy tree men all petrified. So there's a couple of different gas masks. We're going to go over them first because I believe they're pretty important. If you are on a single player server, this is going to be your main source of brimstone, even PvE. But on PvP, occasionally you can come here and some arsehole has just completely blocked the entire thing and that sucks. I'm thirsty, so I'm going to quickly drink some of this water. You can in fact drink it. I have known people who thought it was toxic. It's not. Fill up all you like on water. But for the sake of things, let's just say this isn't blocked locked off and you're not playing on official and yeah you can actually come here as you can see there was some gas i'm in god mode so it's not damaging me and most of the time to be honest i don't even make a gas mask to come here it's not the main reason you want a gas mask but it definitely does help there are a couple of other areas in the game that are gaseous in the volcano and a few other places that you'll find so they are kind of handy thing to have and especially on pvp where people get around with things like gas orbs and gas arrows they can also kill you while you are offline and things um they're fixed it so you won't loot spawn in with your loot anymore if they kill you while you're offline your loot will despawn now because people were taking advantage of that but always try to wear a gas mask if you're on a multiplayer pvp server and there's even pve people can kill you they're trolls wear a gas mask when you're passed out if your body stays in the game for sure but unless you get about three stacks of gas four is pretty doable as well you won't take that much damage and you can run around and mine all of these things which are the brimstone but we'll talk about that in a moment several different gas masks options you can make there are also little pockets of non-gaseousness as well if you're going that route of mining here and not having gas but to have gas masks in general the most common one is this i barely ever make it because it costs steel and i usually can't be bothered but it also you can survive sandstorms as well if you're out in the desert area and there happens to be a sandstorm which is maybe happening right now i don't know the well just went kind of weird okay yes the sandstorm's happening perfect timing for filming a sandstorm mask gas video i guess it was like i summoned that but I didn't. Weird. One of my favorite ones is the setite mask. You have to have a tier 2 altar but, and some set zeal but you can make this for some light padding and some fiber I think. We'll go check on that recipe in a bit. It's pretty cool. We also have the yogurt chosen mask and the witch doctor mask not to be confused even though they look identical. The yogurt chosen mask you can learn from the library of esoteric whatever the archivists here for relic fragments. It's a random RNG chance so RNG but it's going to give you sandstorm and gas protection as well and it's fairly cheap to make. Also nice to put it on your thralls if you have them for base protection because it's pretty easy to sit and snipe them with gas arrows otherwise as well and they're both a nice cheap option for that. The witch doctor mask you have to kill the witch doctor at the summoning place and they're a rare spawn and even if they spawn they might not even drop it. I do go further into that and the commander helm in my legendary boss drop weapon um weapon and armor guides yeah that was right. If you haven't checked that out, do check that out for them in more detail. This one's pretty cool if you happen to get the drop because it has a lot of armor on it as well, which is pretty decent. Then we have the Godbreaker Helm, which is the most armor. Does not say that you can get gas protection from it, but then neither does the Witch Doctor Mask. Some of them give you added also benefits. The Setite Mask is also going to give you concussive damage and follower damage, so another awesome mask to make. They've recently added that. You used to just have nothing like this one. That's pretty cool. The Godbreaker Helm being the most expensive but also one of the best because acid arrows will also degenerate armor. If they happen to have acid arrows learnt then they can sit there and snipe your thralls or yourself that way. So if you happen to be on a super toxic server making that with the most armor is going to have the most luck of not getting deteriorated the quickest but you do need to learn it from the Godbreaker dungeon at Hill's Stronghold and also it requires scrap so you have to run the dungeon fairly often. That's crazy that the storm happened and it's 
ugly as hell, but you can thermagogy it now, which is pretty cool. Those are the best ways I know how to gas protect. So now that's covered. We'll venture in here. Maybe I'll wear the Setite mask because, hey, why not? It's terrifying looking and you can dye it in all sorts of crazy ways too. Let's go into some brimstone. Now, the brimstone lake located at the Shattered Springs is the most common known about, but not the only way to get brimstone. If it does happen to be blocked, like I said, by some air hole, fear not. There are other places, which I'll show you in a second. But first, we're going to talk about the best way to harvest said brimstone, as it is a rare resource. Using something like the black blood or alternatively an obsidian pick is, gets the same amount because they're the exact same tier. But the advantage of the black blood now, it doesn't give you a survival perk that it used to, which increased harvesting with the different attributes that you could achieve. But it still has a butt ton of durability, which is what we're after with using the oils of bounty. And you're going to pop that on and it is timer based, as you can see. So I'm going to take that off because possible. And you can make the obsidian picks now with a durability thrall in a blacksmith. So that's going to add some time on that. If you can't be bothered to head over to the pirate ship and um, buy yourself a black blood pick, which is probably the easiest way to get one now. And you can use this on all of the different black blood tools as well. If you want a skinning knife over there, the sickle, I think is just here etc etc but if you wish to fight rng and get it the old school way you go to bin yakin's seal up here and fight some skexy bat crow things also known as the jill but you want to not have the pick out while you're not using it because it will only deteriorate as it is out so having perks like harvesting stuff twice as quickly is going to help you as well i messed up and reset my attributes this way in admin mode so now i'm missing a perk but whatever fun can fix your aim and i have efficient harvester so i I am twice as when I final hit it's going to give me twice as many resources which is going to come in beneficial a bit later for harvesting another type of brimstone but also losing durability from the survivalist it's also cool if I was able to reach hard worker you harvest nodes twice as fast that would also be pretty cool right now because obviously I want to be able to harvest stuff as quick as possible with this on decent chunk this is one without you're getting 64 not bad not bad I probably mentioned if you do happen to be by the brimstone lake and have a lot of it nearby you can also use mass cull you are likely going to need a bit of corruption for this but fear not you can make corrupting brews eat a bunch of those escalate that now you're a little bit more corrupt and then you want to go mass cull you're going to need a certain pouch for that that's a pretty decent area. It's also worth noting that I don't think you need to have explosive arrows to blow up a brimstone, not brimstone, dar metal to um, crack it open. You can just use mass cull as well. I don't think I actually specified that in my other video, but yeah. To uncorrupt yourself, make some cleansing brews because using mass cull itself will corrupt you. Yeah, I thought I'd just add that in there as well quickly. You'll need the cloth pouch, by the way. So say this is all blocked off and you need an alternative route. Oh, actually, did I mention how to learn the oils of bounty? It's a recipe for five fragments of power from the archivist. You can go there and learn him pretty easy. The same guy you learn the map room off. And they cost like one or two, three maybe to make every oil. So they're pretty worth stocking up on. Doing the Kari dungeon and things going to give you a lot of fragments or even farming the bosses in the unnamed city or things like the commander helm. It's going to give you a lot of fragments as well to be able to stock up on making those oils. You also want to try and make them in the best alchemist bench for the cheapest price obviously. But some other places you can go to mine is the lovely Brimstone. We have Sinner's Refuge, which is also a cool place to come and farm Azura Armor, as well as named Thralls and named Demetra Archpriests. We're located here in G4. There's a decent chunk of brimstone in here and it looks a little different. You're going to be looking out for stones that look like that. Then we have a ghosty lady leading us up to Gulman's tomb, which you also need to come if you wish to remove your bracelet. He drops a vital part for that. So if you're speed running the game or anything like that, you need to come here to H4, not too far from there. So you can like run between the two and by the time you're done, it's probably going to like respawn. Again, looks like this. There's a mount in here. You come 
here get a bunch of um reptile hide as well which burns one for one for tar so that's a nice way a little bomb farm here i'll make use of drop demon blood but i'm not sure if he does anymore so we're going to check that out real quick but as you can see there's heaps of brimstone in here and not many people know about it and all come here which is cool yeah hack him up to get the jade stone bit um yeah he doesn't drop demon blood at least not for me right now so that kind of sucks i guess they realized that it was a bit too much of an op bomb farm but whatever let's move on to the next location just over from watcher's way station you are going to find executioner's entrance or whatever it's called do bring your zath knife and or whatever to kill the spiders get lots of vigor that way there's a decent amount of metal in here as well again brimstone looks like this there's a bunch of it throughout here. A lot of skeletons as well, so it's decent XP, but they can cluster fuck you, so be careful about that. Sorry about the swearing, but lack of a better term. Lots of metal. If you're using your oil pick, put it away between each one. And you can also have a chance to farm some executioner weapons and armor. If you've seen my guide, like I said, you'll see some better stuff on that. He'll also drop a fragment, so you can increase your little farm. And this guy does drop demon blood, no? I no one dropping demon blood for me. So rude. He used to drop demon blood too. Outrageous. Onto our final land location. Turn right near Spotted Squat. Cell Stitch Camp. Bit up from the Iker Island. One guy who I know that does drop demon blood is this buddy. If you see the one skull big rock donkeys, they're an excellent source of demon blood. Oh, and he drops some brimstone, which is cool. Run up the hill from him, now you got your demon blood. We're going to get a decent amount of salt also from mining brimstone. I always get confused whether it's crystal or salt, but it's crystal from obsidian and salt from brimstone. Get the bark while you're here for burning down all of that hide you just got from Gullman's tomb. Bloody everywhere. We see some more orangey rocks than usual. Brimstone! There's a fair few around here, not quite as much as in the caves, but all in all, in my opinion, I believe you can get more here than you can at Brimstone Lake anyway, and if you've got rule of the server and you've rerun even, anything like that, you can get around freely around the server, you can get all of the Brimstone. Oh, there's another sneaky one over here, a chance to get some thralls. There's a little camp just over there that generally always has a taskmaster at it, if you just need a dodgy taskmaster to get yourself going if you haven't gone up to get gothrad in my gothrad video i'll link all the related videos in a comment or something down below or in the about section but this guy's always here and sometimes he's a named guy which is cool and you can also get a blacksmith who can be a named blacksmith Oh, Braggy the Bold's here at the moment. I don't really recommend them for anything more than like random base defense. They'll die pretty instantly. Now on to our final way to get brimstone. Now you are going to need some form of breathing underwater apparatus, like some breathing potions or some underwater breathing masks to make this a little rest, little rest, if I could speak, a little less risque. But there are a bunch that are in fairly shallow water, so you can get away without it. But if you start drowning, you drown quickly. But if you've gotten around in the jungle for some time, you may have seen underwater these little smoky pillars head on down and you want to have that harvest twice as much on final hit because these are all one hit nodes with the oil of bounty i'm getting 200 a hit which is much better than the 100 and look how many is here and even just with the single use pick i get a bunch as well single use pick the one without the oil which is yeah you know what i mean then very slowly to the surface come in encumbrance build preferably but it adds up quickly to get it done efficiently like i said you probably want to have some potions and some breathing masks ripped out would be cool to get down there and just change it out and then change it back to get back up because you get infinite breathing with the riptide equipped and then there we go you can see it doesn't go down which is pretty cool so it's something to keep in mind i do go further into underwater breathing in a separate video also linked probably somewhere around and or in the about section harvesting different bosses as well like dragons will drop a bit of brimstone and those other guys that we're just harvesting sometimes the um different thralls will drop a little bit in their pockets which is kind of nice these are the different ways i know how to get brimstone if i've missed something please do chuck that up in the comments but i'm pretty sure i've covered everything this 
this time. Maybe miss something with the gas breathing. But in summary, come to the ocean and mind your brimstone because it's always here and using the oils of bounty on a black blood pick with the combination you've like sorted. Sorted for brimstone forever. And plus it's a great place to come get hides out here. Definitely worthy. Always go to sleep with a gas mask on if you happen to be on a PvP server. Make setite masks for your thralls if you don't care about them much. If you really love them and you want to keep them alive, they base defense thralls that you leveled up a lot. Maybe make them a god breaker mask because that's going to give them a bunch of armor as well. You can also make that witch doctor mask. I mean your guy chose a mask. They look so the same. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, if you found this information helpful, please do smash that like and subscribe button. It means a bunch. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be.